whenever you're ready. Uh, so talk about what you're doing. Okay, so we're opening up a DIY bicycle collective here. It's in the in the middle of town on one of the main shopping streets. You can hear, that's the church bells you can hear ringing. Um, the idea is to take what's considered waste, like bicycles that have been thrown away, and use the parts from them um, to make new bikes. So we have here a space, which we got for free, where we plan to have public access to parts and tools, and then ha have people around that know how to fix bikes and can help people navigate through, like help people to learn how to love their bike right. And um, so it's completely cost-free. When you, when you come and use something from the workshop, you're expected to contribute somehow, whether that is with some material, with a, a bicycle part or a tool, or, or just by painting a wall or tidying up after the day. Somehow, like if you participate in the space, you become a part of the space and you're, you're responsible for, for keeping it running as well. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about show me some of the parts. And um, well, this is completely disorganized right now. We just put it up like this to make it look nice. Uh, but all of these bikes are uh, came from the recycling station, um, and and it's plain to see that most of them are are in in near perfect condition uh, and need very little work. And it's just so amazing, like how how you can have a culture that that just wastes so much, that just wastes so such such usable things that you don't have. We don't have any kind of model for for taking things that people don't want to use anymore and putting them into use in some other way, other than selling, selling them, them to second hand shops. Uh, so is there much of a recycling culture in Reykjavik or Iceland no. as a whole? No, in in Iceland seems to have this image of being really green you know like uh, people talk about renewable energy green energy and like people have this idea that like Iceland is some kind of eco haven but in fact uh, Iceland doesn't have any recycling um, system of its own like it's only very recent that you could recycle paper and plastic in your street and and all the things that all the things that you take to the recycling station are sold to Scandinavia they're shipped out um, so there's really not a culture here for 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 sorting recyclables and and like it's very very few people to do it. And I, I, in the collective I used to live in, we had a compost, and we were the only people in in the whole street that, that had a compost. It's very Strange. uncommon. Mm. Is there much of a community spirit within the area, this downtown area? The downtown area is definitely different oh, than other areas. Um, um, like finishing villages that's around the coastline. Hmm? Iceland more consists of um, encircled by fishing villages. Yeah, uh, here in the, in the downtown area, uh, it's more people who are. Uh, you, you have a, a high concentration of people who don't have nine to five jobs. It's it's very funny if you if you wake up early on a on a weekday. Uh, and go to the suburbs, you'll see like lots of cars and lots of traffic. If you do it in the downtown area, there's nothing happening. It's completely dead. Um, people, people, there's, there's definitely some kind of different culture. But I wouldn't say there's a community feeling. Is that an kind of artist, um, artistic community? Or? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of like, artists, musicians, they live, live in the downtown area for sure. In um, other places, like Cristiano, they'll have bicycle workshops. They also design their own bicycles. Mm -hmm. You do intend doing something more with the bicycle parts themselves, as like um, for carrying. Well, last year we had a bicycle workshop, a bit outside of downtown, where we had a lot more things going on. We had a welding machine and and angle grinders, and and we were building tall bikes and and just all kinds of freak bikes. But it just required a lot more work on our part. And like the main, our main goal is to make a space where people can fix their own bikes without, you know, without being dependent on professionals or, you know, it's just a way for people to, to empower people.
And we don't have water or electricity here, so we can't actually have any kind of welding machine or anything. Uh, is there a um, critical mass in Reykjavik? There used to be. Um, like three years ago when it was first done, it was, a, it was a qu quite like successful. And then it kind of died down and people have tried to start it up again and again. But often it's been just like three or five people showing up and not much of a mass really.